very hot. It is hot. Whoa, I literally lost my eyebrows. Hey guys, welcome back to Kicking in the Sticks with AJ and Ricky. Surprise, AJ finally let me do the intro to the video for once. Well, you're just as much a part of this channel as I am, and you're a whole lot cuter looking, so why not? Well, I mean, he does make a valid point. But anyways, let's get down to business. So burn barrels can be really helpful when you have lots of excess yard waste. And that's exactly why I need to build another one today because my old one burnt out. And I've been looking all over the internet for more efficient design ideas. I keep coming across this vortex burn barrel. I've tried cutting slits into my barrel before to add extra airflow, but I wanna see if I can actually make one that makes the fire spin. I don't know if it's real or if it's camera trickery. I wanna find out if they're a farce or if they're actually some- Did you just say fart? Farce, Ricky, I said farce. I I think it sounded like fart to no, me. No, it was farce. But anyways, I want to find out if these things can really do what they say they do, or if some people are adding blowers or some sort of extra airflow in somehow just to make them do and look as impressive as they look. So sit back and let's get to it. All right, we got this thing ready to rock and roll. Light it, Ricky. Whoa. I would say this is a pretty efficient burn barrel. And I get a little bit of a vortex motion going on for sure. And now the benefit of this is that it burns so hot and efficient, you don't have to be up there stirring this all the time and get your face too close to the fire and singe off your eyebrows. Actually, that brings up a really good story. One time when I was a little kid, about maybe eight, nine years old. My dad told me to go start the grill up. We had this old Weber grill on the uh, on the patio deck and I went to go light it. Of course, the piezoelectric igniter didn't work so well on it anymore. So I kept clicking, clicking, clicking and I couldn't smell the propane. But when I got that final click that ignited it, I had a huge flame ball come up on my face and I literally lost my eyebrows from that fire. God, I think it'd be pretty funny to see without eyebrows. Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? We'll check you out without eyebrows. How about that? Go over by the fire. And for any naysayers out there that might have looked at my design saying, hey, you can't do this without a bottom. There is no bottom in here. You saw that when we were building this. I don't like to put bottoms in here because that allows all the ash to fall through when there is nothing on the bottom to catch that ash, which makes the barrels last twice as long at least where you don't have to worry about the ash getting damp and moist from rainfall or dew sitting up against the steel and rotting everything to pieces. It, it just, it lasts a whole lot longer this way. All those people that make those fancy vortex burn barrels where they slice holes in the bottom and then they make these vented fins and all that other crazy stuff. So you don't need to waste all that time.
I guess that's it for today. I think the burn barrel was a success. AJ and I hope that you loved hanging out with us again for yet another video. I'm sure you guys really enjoyed finally seeing me again instead of looking at AJ all the time. Wow, my feeling is hurt. Your was, one feeling? My one feeling. Well, <laughs> you'll find another one. Wow, thanks. <laughs> Anyways. If you like our videos, great. We really enjoy hanging out with you. If at any point there's something that you want to see, please let us know. We all hope you come back to Kick It In The Sticks. We'll see you in the next one. And I've been looking all over the internet for different ideas for more efficient burn barrels. I've done some myself where I've cut and... <laughs> poop. Where you've cut poop? I cut poop. All right, sorry. Oh, you little bugger.